decals and tampo printing. What's the difference? Hi, welcome back to St Blazy Model World. Well, in short, decals are transfers, things that we apply to a model after its production. Tampo printing, on the other hand, takes place during production, and it's basically the process of adding fine detail to a model. Now, it's not always easy to spot the difference that everything on this bus is a decal. Whereas, on this bus, we have examples of tampo printing. Now, it doesn't really matter what your model is a model of, be it buses and coaches, trains, or anything else. If tampo printing has been applied, there are times where you might want to remove it, especially if you're going to give your model a custom look, such as a loco fleet number or a particular destination on a model bus. Now you could put your decal over the tampo printing, but if you want to remove the tampo printing, these are my weapons of choice. Cotton buds and nail varnish remover. I know absolutely nothing about nail varnish remover for removing nail varnish. And the example that you see here has simply come from the corner shop. And I can't remember the price, but it was certainly less than two pounds. And uh, in that bottle, there is 250 milliliters, which will remove an awful lot of tempo printing. So how is it done? Well, let's take a look. Now this model is about to undergo a transformation into a completely different livery as a Code 3 bus. And I've taken the precaution, as usual, of photographing all four sides of the bus so that I have detail to refer to later on. But right now, let's have a go at removing some of the tempo printing on this model. So with a generous amount of the nail varnish remover applied to one end of the cotton bud, We'll just start to rub off the fleet name and see what happens. And I'm just going to pause there. So you can see now that the word country has started to be removed. And there's no damage to the green paint underneath. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of that London Country logo and fleet name and then we'll look at what remains. So there we are. The London Country fleet name has gone and as you can see there is no damage to the surface underneath. Now we'll just look at the cotton bud that I just used. This end here had the nail varnish remover applied to it. And it's bent because I used a reasonable amount of force, but not too much. And the other end of the cotton bud is straight because I keep one end dry, ready just to wipe off any excess flow of the nail varnish remover. And if we look at this end here, you can see, well, there might be a very thin trace of green on there, but only a very minimal amount, if anything. And that just shows you that on the model, well, it's intact and then we can proceed to apply a decal anywhere there in that area. And the other great thing about using nail varnish remover is that it evaporates. And because it evaporates, uh, well, it just leaves a nice dry, clean surface. The alcohol content there works perfectly and leaves us a good area to apply a new decal if we wish to. And so that's it. Tampo printing. Now, removing the advert there on this model bus might take a little bit longer than removing the fleet name, but the process is exactly the same. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Please find time to give it a like and remember to subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit the bell icon as well and you'll get an alert every time we release a new video. That's it. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.